there, Taurus friends. Welcome to your full moon and lunar eclipse reading for May 26, 2021. I'm Myra, and welcome to my channel, Healing Theology. This reading is for today. I'm recording it actually the day of the Sagittarius full moon and lunar eclipse. All right, guys. So I'm excited to see what guidance there is for you, Taurus friends. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at Healing Theology. All right, Taurus, I'm going to get you a spirit guided message for this full moon. All right, two cards flipped over, guys. We have Know Your Truth, Taurus. And you also have Be of Service. All right, very good. All right, at the bottom of the deck, it says to appreciate your talents. All right, let's get you an angel answer card. You guys might be looking for specific answers during this full moon. So let's see what answers the angels have for you guys. And then we'll get into your reading. All right, Archangels, Spirits, Guides of the Highest, Most Holy, Divine Order, and Ancestors, messages for my Taurus friends for this full moon in Sagittarius. All right, there's something better, Taurus. And it looks like the situation will also improve. All right, very good. All right, Taurus, let's get your overall energy, friends. Thank you, angel spirits, guides, messages for Taurus. In this full moon energy, the eight of pentacles, guys, this is your energy, Taurus. This is being very focused, right? Being very astutious. You could be in school. You could be studying something. But it is being very, very focused. You could be working a lot. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. Um, now, this is sometimes about love or somebody acting out of a spirit of love. Maybe you're really focused on work or money and aren't giving much attention to love. Let's see what your crossing energy is. You guys could be doing some kind of research. All right. You have the emperor in your challenge position. Um, that could represent an Aries. It could represent a boss, some someone in authority. Um, it's a divine masculine energy, like being in control, being the boss. What is the uh, foundational energy for Taurus? All right, you have the seven of wands, guys. So the seven of wands is about setting boundaries. And every sign has had this card, I think. Uh, I used a completely different deck, but it is about sort of being on the defense or it is, it's a. It's actually having an advantage. It's knowing what's coming at you, but you're being confident. You're guarding your truth. You're guarding your belief system. Um, it could be about blocking people sometimes. That could be it. But the Seven of Wands is about confidence, and it is about standing your ground, okay? Let's take a look at your recent past, Taurus. All right, the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe you're an entrepreneur or you're someone who's very proud of the effort that you put into making money. Um, but it's a very successful energy, and we have the King of Pentacles. Um, for some people, I'm hearing like father, like daughter, or like father, like son, or like mother, like daughter. There could be some uh, a parental connection to how you are with about working or making money. Crowning energy for Taurus, please. All 
All right, friends, we have here the Seven of Pentacles. So this is about reconsidering, reevaluating something, guys, analyzing something. You have a seven in your above and below. So I feel like this is about you maybe pausing, taking a look at something, analyzing. Um, it looks like it's money related. It could be your resources. What's the outcome for Taurus? Um, if things have slowed down or you feel like you're dealing with other things, I think things will improve. And then you have the Eight of Cups. And I feel like this is that full moon energy that may you may feel like there's something more for you. You could feel like you could be more fulfilled doing something else, Taurus. And you could be making plans to make some big decisions or to move forward on a goal that you intend to accomplish. The Cancer card is the Chariot and the card of victory. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm going to clarify this reading for you, friends. And Angel Spirits, guys, can you tell me what the Eight of Pentacles is? Give us more for the sign of Taurus during this full moon. Some of you may decide to change jobs and do something that is more service oriented. Um, you could be maybe in a business field, you know, financial or whatever, and decide you want to do something a little bit more service driven or humanitarian based. What is the eight of pentacles? Yeah, especially with appreciate your talents there, guys. You could really be looking at some other other things to do with your life. Other people may have something to say about it. But the Ten of Wands is here. So it looks like there could be, could be something you've done for a long time. The Ten of Wands can sometimes talk about a journey. But it looks like if you've had a lot of responsibility, if it's been stressful then that time could be coming to an end. You could have just a lot on your shoulders and need to ask for help, Taurus. That could be a thing as well. Um, but I do feel like you may need to delegate some of you. But there is a wheel of fortune here at the bottom of the deck, which sort of indicates that timing. There's something that has to do with timing. So maybe you'll only be at this current job or position or whatever you're doing for a certain period of time, but time is starting to move. So there could be a bit of a transition coming up. Um, can you tell us more about this emperor? More information about this emperor. It could be an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. All right, the sun card. This is nice. This is a good dose of happiness and well-being. Maybe some of you, you know, want to be in charge. Um, hmm. I think there's a good deal of happiness to be had here, Taurus. Maybe if you delegate and get things off of you. The sun card does indicate that your health if there are health concerns, they could improve. Maybe if you have less stress or less things on you. The Seven of Wands down here could be about setting boundaries. What's the Seven of Wands? Just a second. What is this Seven of Wands for Taurus? All right, the devil card here. Um, and I feel like this is about not giving your power away, Taurus. Um, really guarding yourself against temptation, the opinions of others, and things like that. Um, yes, you taking your power back, being confident. What's the seven of pentacles in your crowning energy? Could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you that you could be trying to keep at bay or keep away from you or just be like, I'm not talking to that person. Or it could be your own, you know, your own vices or own demons that you're kind of wrestling with or trying to make sure they stay um, down. Now, I do see an Ace of Cups, guys, and clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. Um, maybe you've paused working to focus on love. 
Um, but the Ace of Cups is like a gift of love. This could be a new person in your life. Um, and I do see an offer here with the Four of Cups. Um, for some people, it could be just a stagnant love life. You could feel like things are not going or moving anywhere. Uh, what is this Eight of Cups in the outcome? Some of you could be deciding to walk away from a situation that doesn't feel fulfilling and the full moon could make you sort of feel that way. All right, Taurus, you have here the Six of Swords. So this is a card of transition. It's a card of movement, short-term travel for some people, but moving into a more confident space. Um, here's the Seven of Swords, which is really interesting. The Ace of Wands, which is like a new fresh, it's a fresh start. It's being inspired. And the King of Swords. Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Uh, or this is the type of person that, um, and I see a Tower moment. So for some Tauruses, this is literally, um, this person may not be the most honest person. I feel like um, they could work in law enforcement. They're a person who's not very sensitive as far as emotions. They may be more intellectual and have more head knowledge. Um, and it could be a new person that's offer, offering you a new opportunity. Um, the Ace of Wands sometimes is like, oh, I'm inspired. I'm excited. Sometimes it can represent new sex or something that has you going and you're ready to move on to something new, Taurus. But I feel like it may be under false pretenses or I feel like whatever this new thing is you're getting ready to do, um, watch out for things to not go right or an obstacle. Um, somebody could want to use your ideas and take all the credit for it. Sometimes that's what the Seven of Swords is. Um, you may not want to share your ideas with everybody. Or if, you're, if you're planning to move or do something, Tars, you may want to keep it to yourself. But I feel like you know the truth as to why you're doing something our spirit is really emphasizing that you need to know your truth and be really firm in knowing what your truth is, okay? All right, guys. So I hope that this reading provided some clarity and insight um, on the full moon. So this is sort of the energy to sort of take a look at over the next um, 30 days until the next full moon comes around. So whenever you watch this, I think it will be relevant and may provide some clarity or guidance on some things that could be going on with you, Taurus friends. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you can know when I go live, guys, and subscribe. All right. Take care. See you soon, Taurus.